delicious. No, 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 no. I like this a lot. This is not how you make green curry. Hiya. Hi guys, I hope you're doing really well. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to one of my favorite YouTubers video. Uncle Roger, he's roasting Jamie Oliver over one of his Thai green curry recipe. So, let's start. Mr. Chili Jam, aka Jamie Olive Oil, he disappoint Uncle Roger so many times now. How his Thai green curry gonna be? Subscribe to Uncle Roger. So he said um, he calling Jamie Oliver Chili Jam because uh, before he put the chili chili jam in the fried rice. That's why he's calling him Chili Jam. It's really funny. Channel. We're so close to 4 million niece and nephew in family. And when we hit 4 million, Uncle Roger gonna make my own ramen. So smack the subscribe button now. Go! Guys, we're gonna make Thai green curry. It's delicious, fragrant. My family love it. We're gonna go one cup of rice. That's enough for four people. One cup rice for four people. Is your whole family just baby bird higher? That like five grain of rice each. You starving your children, Jamie. Eight seconds in, already make mistake. Keep the Usain Bolt of fucking up. And then two cups of water. This is the perfect equation for the perfect fluffy rice. A pinch of salt, lid on top, medium heat. Happy days. No, 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 not happy day, no. You don't have rice cooker. It's sad day for Uncle Roger. We're gonna make a paste. Peel a thumb-sized piece of ginger. So we're gonna go in with your thumb size, my thumb, not your thumb, right? Thumb-sized piece of ginger. In. Hiya, ginger wrong. Use kalangkau. Kalangkau. Nobody use ginger for Thai green curry. Nobody. Thumb-sized piece of ginger. In to the food processor. In to the food processor. <sighs> food processor. Jamie, I thought you have pestle and mortar. When you're making the Malaysian fish video, I see you have pestle and mortar. Where is it? Use your pestle and mortar. Where is it? Niece and nephew, food processor, not replacement for pestle and mortar. Because food processor just slice shit up. Pestle and mortar can do Uncle Roger's favorite thing, pounding. Pounding bring out all the flavor. Maybe that's why Auntie Helen pounds so many other people. In to the food processor. Then we're gonna go in with the lemongrass. Now I need to spank it. No, no, it? no. Now I need to spank it. Stop spanking. Spanking not gonna do anything. You're gonna throw it all in food processor anyway. Right. It's spinning at 9,000 RPM. If you spank harder than food processor, then I feel bad for Mrs. Oliver. Sorry, Jamie's children. And then this part, I'm just gonna break that up and put that in. Four cloves of garlic. Garlic, good. And then six leaves of kaffir lime. Kaffir lime, okay. Inch of cumin, beautiful. Little green chilies here. Oh, who is that? See, I think that Jamie wife running away from spanking. Little green chilies here. Out with the seeds, I'm gonna go for three. What? What he say? I'm gonna go for three. Three? Just, just three? Just three chilli for your curry. Hiya. Out with the seeds, I'm gonna go for three. Uncle Roger making Thai green curry for four people. I gonna use like 20 or 30 chilli, but he used three? That less than one chilli per person. That's right. What um, you if you're cooking uh, like green curry, you need to put a lot of chilli, at least like four or five chillies because uh, Otherwise, it's not a curry. Like, if you if you don't like chili, I think you should avoid green curry. When bother with the chili, this not gonna be curry. This gonna be smoothie. Hi, not enough chili. Uncle Roger predict your green curry not even gonna have green color. Keep watching video. See if Uncle Roger prediction correct. Little green chilies here. Out with the seeds. Also, <sighs> why are you deceiving the chili? Why? Uncle Roger realized this is white people favorite thing. They like throwing out seed of chili. Seed is where all the flavor is. Don't be pussy. Eat your chili seed. Hiya. Jamie, don't need to take the chili seed out. You got five children. You have more than enough seed. 
he's actually right it's, it, it makes no sense we can just use less chili instead of taking seed out of the chili because if you take the seed out of the chili it's just a little bit of chili flavor it's not spicy or hot at all out with the seeds i'm gonna go for three two shallots that's so many shallots nice bunch of coriander so it's too much coriander hiya wait wait so that your paste that all the ingredient for your paste no galangal no white peppercorn no shrimp paste just that little sprinkle of cumin not gonna do shit this curry gonna be so weak so, so weak, weak. And then a tablespoon of ground oil into the pan. It's fairly hot. I'm going to go in with 750 grams of chicken. And also, the chicken thigh is tastier. So we'll fry this off. Eight minutes in a hot. No, no, higher. No, no. Metal spoon on non stick pan. That's not even the biggest crime in this picture. You're not supposed to fry chicken like this for green curry. Hiya. You need to mix the chicken with the paste and then stir fry it together. Jamie Oliver, haven't get one thing right so far? You're just making chicken stir fry now, and earlier you make smoothie. He making every other food except green curry. What crazy thing he gonna do next? In the sink markets today, you can get a whole bunch of different mushrooms. We've got a note what? king oysters here, but you get those little mixed packs. Nobody put mushroom in curry. Of uh, Asian... 400, uh, 400 gram? Oriental mushrooms, quarter some. We can leave these whole and just break them up into this much mushroom. And he used three chili. Now he making mushroom soup. Hi. <laughs> just way too much mushroom in the in the curry. Like I tried mushroom in different curries. It actually doesn't go really well. Too much mushroom. Who gonna eat this much mushroom in one meal? Jamie, just because you put in enoki mushroom, it don't make this dish any more Asian. This curry is so white. It about to book spa holiday. Little wads. Look how amazing that is. So I'm just going to push the chicken to one so side. So push to one side, go throw it out and start over. The mushrooms. Loads of texture, loads of different oh. shapes. Look at that mushroom, that big ass piece of mushroom. Who want to eat that in your curry? <laughs> You're just eating green curry and then one big blob of mushroom get in your mouth. And when you cook mushroom, all the water from mushroom come out. So this dish not even gonna taste like green curry. It gonna taste like mushroom sweat. Hiya. And that can suck up some of the lovely fat that's come out of that chicken as well. These little delicate mushrooms here, I'll put those in just at the end. No, don't put it in. Now we've got some nice colour on the chicken and the mushroom. I'm now gonna go in with a paste. Delicious. No, 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 no. I like this a lot. Uncle Roger so upset. I put my leg down from chair. This not how you make green curry. Hiya. You don't just whack it in like it's soy sauce. Green That's actually very, very bad green paste. Ingredients obviously is not right. Also, he didn't, he didn't blend it smooth enough. Curry paste usually very smooth. In curry, you cook the coconut milk, pour the green paste in, That's and then the you way. boil until the fat coming to surface. Beautiful green fat, not just throwing random shit in pan. This worse than his egg fried rice video. Where did you learn how to make Thai green curry? From K Cooking Channel, is it? Hiya. I'm gonna go in with a paste. Delicious, fast cooking. Don't brag about being fast. It's easy to be fast if every step wrong. Straight in with the coconut milk. And I'm using a coconut milk that's light. So give that a little shake. Now in with the munch too. Now we know. Now in with the munch too. Now in with the munch too. Need people in so much. Remember, three chili, three and two hundred gram of the worst vegetable ever. Munch two. If vegetable tastes like sad, munch two tastes like terror. <laughs> is this what British people think green curry is? Is this what they eating? 
two minutes to cook so that's kind of your timer now of course you could use any other seasonal greens have fun with it make it your own now don't make it your own make it thai please mushrooms here go in oh no there's a fish sauce go fish sauce wrong brand everybody buy fish sauce you buy the squid brand not this bullshit brand in one and a half and now of course you could use any other seasonal greens have fun with it make it your own now don't make it your own make it thai please actually is a good point here when I follow any recipe, I like to show a little bit of respect for originality. And not only that, I want to taste a little bit of the area where the recipe is coming from. Mushrooms here, go in. Oh no. There's a fish sauce, go. Fish sauce, wrong brand. Everybody buy fish sauce, you buy the squid brand. Not this bullshit mm. brand. In. One and a half lime. Wrong again, nobody the use lime. Basil. Wrong the again, top. Thai basil. Just pluck. Just pluck, don't slice. How many things can he get wrong in one video? Hiya. I can't even put my leg back up on chair ever again. You've kind of got like ginger tea infused rice. Where the tea come from? And then we just use a fork. Oh just my god. There's another uh, too much improvisation. Like he put like tea, ginger tea in the rice. Absolutely unnecessary because he already put a lot of ginger in the curry. So a rice doesn't need any any more ginger you can like leave the rice alone but you know when you uh, when you are like overconfident you do do the sort of unnecessary things that rice because what we want is like look at the oh my god the rice looks so clumpy and wet hi <laughs> actually this rice oh. looks a little bit better than Gordon Ramsay's rice Gordon Ramsay's rice was like really really wet he's a nephew Please hit subscribe button now. Uncle Roger need the strength to carry on. <laughs> I need the strength to carry on too. So subscribe to my channel too if you like this video. Rice. Here my friends is our curry. Balanced with lime and the seasoning from the fish sauce. Finish it with some herbs. What a wonderful dish. More chilies guys, more chilies. Oh, so far chili. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Here, my friends, is our curry balanced with lime. Niece and nephew, does this look like Thai green curry to no, you? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look curry like it doesn't look green curry or any sort of curry. It looks like more like a sorted veggie. Uncle Roger put on screen, show you side by side. Hi, yeah. This don't look like green curry at all. See, this curry don't even look green. He didn't use enough green chili. What is this munch two mushroom bullshit? If your curry mostly look like munch two and mushroom, you fucked up. Thai green curry cooked in the time that it took to cook some basmati rice. Basmati rice, wrong rice. Use Thai jasmine rice for Thai green curry. Is he trying to get Guinness World Record for most fuck up in one cooking week? Basmati rice is like Indian come from like Indian subcontinent and it's got like a because it's aged rice it's got like some smell to it which Thai people really really hate and um, it doesn't go with Thai dishes anyway so for Thai dishes you'd rather have like either Thai jasmine rice or just any sort of plain rice not basmati basmati good for Indian dishes <laughs> look at that so let's have a little go Very good. You know, it's got that wonderful sort of tropical flavour, like really, really perfect. Uncle Roger, never hear anyone describe curry as tropical before. And of course, you could swap the chicken out for tofu. Go for no, don't put tofu. I see before what you do with tofu. Leave tofu alone. And there you go, guys. Thai green curry, Jamie style. Really, really nice. If you want the recipe, click uh, on the details below. Don't click. And if you want a cocktail to go with this then go over to chinks tube and see my friend diridon where we did an epic mojito I, I love when i was a young chef i loved jamie oliver and i got a lot of his books i think i got one in here too like i used to, I used to really love his food and i follow his recipe i got a lot of respect for him as well but as far as asian dish concerned he is not the best to be honest but let me know what do you think about jamie's asian cooking in the comment section and that's it for today guys uh, i'll see you in the next video bye bye